Hello and welcome to this video. A lot of people have asked me when, or indeed if, the Udemy 4x automated trading course is coming out. The good news is it's finally here and in this video I want to help you decide whether it's worth your time and money versus the YouTube course. We'll do this in three parts. Firstly the promotion video, then secondly we'll quickly review the content of the course which you can see on the screen here, and then finally I've made a little comparison table between what we do on the YouTube course and then what we do on the Udemy course and hopefully that's enough then for you to make a a good decision as to whether you want to do the Udemy course or not. Also in the description you should find a link to the course with a coupon code as well so that you get kind of the sale price and not the full price of the course. So first up then the promo video. Hello and welcome to this course. In this course you're going to learn how to build a complete forex trading and backtesting system. It goes without saying, to be successful in our digital age, you must have the ability to test strategies, automate trading and gather information. This course will give you the foundation to do just that. We will collect over six years worth of data, millions of candles and learn to develop indicators, identify candle patterns and have some fun evaluating some of the most popular trading strategies on the internet. We'll also build a live trading bot with a robust code base that you can extend. The bot will be able to run multiple pairs in parallel, allow for individual time frames and risk settings, place trades with a stop loss and take profit and much, much more. We'll also learn how to stream prices live using a streaming API and we'll learn to implement multi-threading events and work use to be able to build a system capable of streaming prices and processing data at the same time. In addition, we'll look at information gathering. We'll use web scraping and MongoDB to collect market data and we'll run some analysis correlating market moves with economic results. On top of this, we're going to go full stack. We'll develop our own API and web application, which will allow us to have all of the information that we need at our fingertips. All of this will leave you with a comprehensive code base which you can build upon. So I look forward to seeing you on the course and if you have any questions, please get in touch. Hopefully you enjoyed that promotion video. I'm back on the course landing page. You should have a link to this in the description with a coupon code. The landing page is split into different sections. You've got this what you'll learn, which you can read. I'm not going to read it. And then there's sort of requirements from you to be able to do the course and then a description. And then somewhere further down here is the course content. And you don't need to enroll or anything like that to see this. You can have a look through all of the individual videos, videos in the uh, course content so you can get an idea of what the course is all about. The course itself actually surprisingly for me when I load it all up is 27 hours long. That's quite a bit longer than the YouTube version. So to finish this video what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and be really really quick, is I'm actually just going to go through a comparison table of the YouTube version versus the Udemy version so you get an idea of uh, what is what. The first thing actually to note is not in the table, it's in VS Code. So this is actually the code here that you finish with when you do the course and immediately what you should see compared with the YouTube version is it's a lot more structured. So through out the course in nearly every instance and in every section the code is improved and better structured than the YouTube one. I did the YouTube one pretty much quick and dirty, fast as possible to help you get up to speed and get hands on with all the data and testing. It's cleaned up a lot for the Udemy version because I didn't like what I'd done on the YouTube version. I was just trying to really get it done as fast as possible. So on this table what we've got is we've got each chapter of the Udemy course then we've got a checkbox to say whether the YouTube course actually has that chapter and if it does we've got this comparison. Now the more full the comparison block is the closer the YouTube version is to the Udemy version. Starting with account setup then it's more or less the same between the two of them. The walkthrough is slightly better and more thorough on the Udemy one. The Udemy one com contains an intro to Forex trading so explains what it is, what buying is, what selling is, how it works with a couple of examples, how leverage works, what spread is and things like that. The Awanda API section is pretty similar and um, there's just better explanation on the Udemy one and I have to open my hands and say here that actually came from things I learned making the YouTube one because as you know if you've done the YouTube one I tripped up a couple of times particularly with the data types and things like that. That's all sort of fixed and my explanations I think are clearer and uh, better on the Udemy version. The initial exploration that we do where we open the notebooks and get the candles and things like that again is really similar actually. Uh, the code is just structured better and in fact that applies for every section here and in the comparison I haven't really included it but the code structure is a lot better. That's one major major difference for the entire course. The MA cross strategy is pretty similar. The main difference there is the candle plotting. So you'll remember in the YouTube course maybe we always have to rewrite the plotting code 
what we do on the Udemy one is actually create a script and a plotting class. And in that class, we can choose to plot candles or lines or secondary axis, and it makes it a lot faster later on in the course for plotting and things like that. So again, better code structure. And there's also a bit of a cleanup with the analysis of the results. The spreadsheet automation, I think actually is pretty much identical. There might be slight differences in the, the way the code is structured very slightly, but it's more or less the, uh, the same. The collection of a lot of historical data is different in the sense that probably the worst thing that happened on the YouTube course in terms of feedback from you was that if there are no candles coming back from a particular time frame, the script breaks. This is obviously very bad. And the code now that's written to collect historical data is hopefully a lot more robust. And in fact, during the Udemy course, we actually test this scenario where no, where no candles actually come back. For the candle patterns, we cover a lot more patterns than we do in the YouTube version. And also this is all incorporated in a script, which makes it much more convenient to import and use in other files. Indicators, similar thing, more indicators and more complicated. So we've got Bollinger Bands, the RSI, the ATR, the MACD, the Keltner channels. And with that, hopefully almost every kind of technique you'll need Need. These again are in a nice script and structured a lot better than they were in the YouTube version. The advanced backtesting, I think we did the inside bar uh, strategy from Baby Pips on the YouTube version. Here we've got two strategies, and I'm seeing actually I should have had a two here instead of a one. We've got two strategies that I pick from YouTube that have over or near a million views and are promising something like 90% win rates. And what we do is we test those strategies to see if they have this win rate. And the big difference between this actually and the YouTube version is we build ourselves what I call the guru tester class. And this is actually a class which you can send in pretty much any strategy as long as you have a signal, take profit and stop loss. And you can choose one hour, day, four hour candles, and it'll always break that down into five minute candles and run through the testing. And that whole thing is put together in a much, much better way than the YouTube version. And obviously there we do two strategies instead of the one strategy. And then something that's really important that we don't have in the YouTube version is performance. So first of all, we change the code for the back testing to actually make it use multi-processing. That's not multi-threading and that's explained in the course as to why they're different and what's important. We use multi-processing to really speed things up. And we also take a look at some benchmarking of different ways of iterating through values in a data frame. All of this uh, aimed at enabling you to get the most performance out of your simulations. The live bot in some ways is similar, but in others isn't. So we have a nice diagram with a flow chart of how it's going to work. Uh, it actually calculates position sizing for a, a given risk. It has a better settings file, so it can do all sorts of different things for different pairs. I'll show you how to do that. And the API is used in a much better way for setting take profits and stop losses. Again, because I actually realized some things in the YouTube course that were incorrect and they've been corrected for the Udemy version. So the, the live bot in terms of functionality is quite similar in, in terms of structure is quite a little bit better. Then we come on to the bits probably that I've been asked about most since the YouTube one, that is how to stream live prices. Now here we don't build a bot. What we do do though is build a complete infrastructure for doing it. So we use multi-threading so we can stream live prices on one thread and then we can have sort of processing, so algorithmic processing on another thread and then another thread to take some decisions and so on. And during that process, we build up an infrastructure which has threads, which has events. So when a new price arrives, we fire an event. We have logging for each of the instrument pairs that we're streaming. We have work queues. So you have a thread sitting there waiting for some work to do and it gets given some work to do. And all of that is clearly sort of laid out and demonstrated so you understand how you'll need to structure your code when you're streaming prices live. The next section, again, is not in the YouTube section. I, I was probably the most fun section actually for me to do. And that was actually web scraping. So we actually take four different scenarios and we actually scrape live, real live data. So uh, Forex headlines, we scrape some technical data. So uh, lots of websites online, they calculate the technicals already. So we basically scrape that information and take it. We look at how to get hold of an economic calendar, not just the current data, but also an economic calendar from the past as well by interrogating a website and seeing how we can get a hold of the information. And we also get ourselves current sent market sentiment information via web scraping as well. And these four scenarios are all quite different. And what they do is they then give you a really broad sort of foundation of how to go about uh, web scraping. And also in those scenarios, what you'll see is some of the sites actually prevent bots and scripts web scraping and I show you how to get around that as well. Next section databases is not in the YouTube, it's in the Udemy. Here we make a MongoDB cluster online and we actually store the, as an example, the economic calendar data. And I think actually we also store the tradable instruments so that we no longer have that inside a file either. 
Once we've stored that information, we use uh, Python to get it out of MongoDB and we do some very quick market analysis. I think uh, if I remember correctly, we do regressions between the economic results like inflation and things like this and the actual movements of the various currency pairs. Then we move on to a web application and this is very different to the one that we did on the YouTube course. The YouTube course I think was view and it was quite quick and dirty again because I just wanted to get you going as fast as possible. Now we really go in to the deep end I would say. So we build a full React.js application. So we install Node.js, we use React.js for the front end, we have a Flask server in the back end and our React.js app looks a lot nicer you'll have seen on the promotion video and also it uses hooks and routing and things like that. So you basically get a full stack development section inside uh, this course itself, which I personally think is quite nice. The cloud bot deployment is pretty much the same actually. So we use supervisor. I also show you how to use something called screen on there as well. And there's a bit more of a, an explanation of uh, how things work. And that actually reminds me right at the start of the course, I've forgotten to put in this table, but the environment setup section is also much, much more detailed. So I explain in more detail what virtual environments are, how they work and why. So you get a better of idea of what's going on there. Finally, then there are two appendices which aren't on YouTube, they're on Udemy. There's a section that goes over the main Python topics that we cover throughout the course. So if you get stuck, you can refer to that and also for JavaScript as well. So in the React.js application, we do a few things with JavaScript. Those are also covered as well. So all of that being said, hopefully that's given you enough information to decide whether it's worth you actually going ahead and purchasing and enrolling and doing this course or not. If you do, then please leave me a rating and give me some feedback. I always appreciate it. It always helps me. And if you don't, that's also okay. Hopefully you got something from the YouTube course and that's enabled you to uh, set up your own automatic trading algorithmic systems. So thank you very, very much for your participation, for watching this video, and I wish you all the best in the future.